are going to see what are Himalayan mountains. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Himalayas are geologically young, so which means they are young mountains and are structurally fold mountains which stretch over northern borders of India, which means they stretch over northern northeastern borders of India. They run in west east direction, so which means they from run from west to east, like this direction from Indus to Brahmaputra. So it extends between river Indus and the Brahmaputra. So let's see what it looks like like on a map so these are himalayan mountains the, here you can see this is indus river and this is brahmaputra river so himalayas extends between indus and brahmaputra which means they extends these are the ranges of himalayan mountains so let us see what are the divisions of himalayas the himalayas consist of three parallel ranges himadri himachal and shivalik Himadri. It is the northernmost range known as Himadri or Great or Inner Himalayas, or which means it is also known as Great Himalayas or Inner Himalayas. It is the most continuous range, which means consisting of the loftiest peaks with an average height of 6,000 meters. So the average height of Himadri is 6,000 meters. It is very important. Please remember it because it is very important. It might be asked in almost all exams. So, the Himadri or Great Himalaya is the blue colored. So, it extends between, as you can see, it is from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh, more than that. And so, this is Great Himalaya or Himadri. It, it contains all the prominent peaks of Himalayan peaks. And the folds of Great Himalayas are made of granite. This is the granite stone. So, the folds or the folds or the inner core of the Himadri is made of granite. The folds are asymmetric in nature and it is perennially snowbound like this. This mountain is perennially snowbound. So Himadri is perennially snowbound which means it is snowbound throughout the year. This is a glacier. This is the picture of a glacier and a number of glaciers descend from this range. So the next division of Hima Himalayas is Himachal, the range lying to the south of Himadri. So it is below Himadri in a map of India is called Himachal or Lesser Himalaya. The altitude varies between 3700 and 4500 meters and the average width is of 50 kilometers. So guys this is Lesser Himalaya or Himadri it is very narrow in appearance. This is Lesser Himalaya or Himad Himadri. So, these ranges are mainly composed of highly combust and altered rocks. The altitude varies between 3700 as we stated before and 4500 meters and the average width is 50 kilometers. So, its width is 50 kilometers. Then, the Pilpanjal range forms the longest and most important range. So, in this range, Pilpanjal range forms the longest. It is the longest range and it is the most important range, the Dauladar and Mahabhar, Mahabharat ranges are also prominent ones. This range consists of famous valley. So it consists of valleys. This is an example of a valley. So this range consists of valleys like Kashmir, Kangra, Kulu, etc. Kulu Valley is in Himachal Pradesh. This region is well known for its hill station. So it is very beautiful. So this place is very known well known for its hill stations the outermost and southernmost range is called shivalik they extend over a width of 10 to 50 kilometers so their width is 10 to 50 kilometers and have an altitude varying between 900 and 1100 meters so guys this is shivaliks so this is shivaliks this is narrow so it has a width of 10 to 50 kilometers and average height is between 900 and 1100 meters. These ranges are composed of unconsolidated sediments brought down by rivers from main Himalayan ranges. So, from these Himalayan ranges, uh, rivers like Indus, Ganga, Brahmaputra descend and they bring sediments. So, these mountains are made of sediments. The valleys are covered with thick gravel and alluvium. 
the valleys are covered with thick gravel and alluvium and the longitudinal valley lying between lesser himalaya and shivaliks are known as duns so as we have seen before the valley the valleys which lies between himalaya or sorry lesser himalaya and shivaliks are known as duns dara dun kotli dun patli dun are some of the well known duns as you know dara dun is very well known so these kinds of duns are present between lesser himalaya and shivaliks besides the longitudinal divisions as we have seen before there have been divided himalayas have been divided on the basis of regions from west to east so this is what we see in the before so this was himadri himachal and shivalik so now we are going to see the longitudinal divisions like this like this so let us see what it is so it has four variations punjab himalayas kumaon himalayas nepal himalayas assam himalayas so divisions of himalayas as per the longitudinal divisions so the first one is punjab himalaya it extends between indus and satluj the punjab himalayas are also known as kashmir himalaya himalayas or himachal himalaya from west to east respectively from here to here so then the part of himalayas lying between satluj so this is satluj river and kali river is here so the part lying between satluj and kali river is known as kumaon himalayas so this is kumaon himalaya and the part lying between kali and teesta so this is teesta river kali and teesta river is known as nepal himalaya then the part lying between teesta sorry not brahmaputra it is the part like the hang rivers is known as assam himalayas thank you for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment so you won't miss future videos